in this video we're looking at creating a purchase order in Business Central. To begin I will create a new purchase order from our action bar here. This brings up a completely blank purchase order. You'll notice there's no number assigned to it currently. This will be populated once we enter our vendor name. In this case we'll use the vendor Fabricam. I've got a couple of options. I can look up this value and I've got a full list here of any existing vendors in the system. From here I can create a new vendor or manage existing vendors. In this case though, I'm going to start to type in our vendor name and tab out. This populates the rest of the data in the general tab from the vendor card. Now that we've populated our vendor, we can look to the lines. This is where we can request our items for inventory or our resources or services, depending on what you're after from the vendor. In this case, we'll look to purchase some Athens desks. I can click into the number field here or the description field and it brings up the list of existing items in the system. As before, with the vendor name, I can select the full list, which brings me a focused list of every item in the system. If you have a lot in the system though, this could be quite time consuming to scroll through these to find the one that you're after. So in this case, we will begin to type in Athens. This will filter down any items matching that description. And in this case, we're gonna pick the Athens desk. Now that our item is entered into the line, we need to pick our quantity. In this case, we'll go with five. You'll notice the direct unit cost here has been populated as well. This can be changed from the line. This will also affect our line amount here. Now we'll add one more item here. And we'll look for the Paris chairs. This time I'll select from the drop down and we want 10 of these. And then I'll enter the quantity and tap out as before. And at the bottom here, you can see my subtotal for the whole order. Now that we're happy with all the lines that we've got in our order, we're going to send this to our vendor for approval. And this gives us our options for how to send the document. 